wants to be completely hands-free. So to enable, you simply click this on start button, sounds just like the on start button. That's going to turn on all the communication capability. If you want to customize it, you can come into our preferences. We obviously have things around SMS and Facebook that you can come in and configure. Things like an auto reply, which is a really neat feature where you think of it like a, uh, an out of office reply for email only with texting. So a text message is going to come in. It's going to say um, auto replying. So it's going to play the text message. It's going to say auto replying and then it's going to send a predefined message back to them. So you can actually customize what you want that message to be, which is really interesting. And we have uh, the, the ability also to do filtering of your contacts. So let's say you only want to have text messages read to you when these five people text me in the vehicle. So maybe you get a bunch of other erroneous texts that you really don't want to be bothered with while you're in the car. You can do contact filtering uh, as well. So that's a little bit about that. And then within Facebook, we have the capability to log in uh, to your Facebook account. And then as things are being posted on your Facebook wall, you would be notified and you can do likes or you can do a reply to those wall postings uh, right within the vehicle completely hands-free. Um, we also have the ability to play the app locally over the phone speaker uh, or like what I'm going to demo today is in a Bluetooth mode. Okay. Excuse me. We also have the ability to uh, do a device selection on your Bluetooth. So if you wanted it to play over a hands-free speaker or in a particular car, you could do that um, and do a device selection of those uh, configured. We also have the ability to um, do different modes. We have a beginner mode, an intermediate mode, and an expert mode. This has to do with the verboseness um, of the prompts that you're going to hear. Uh, we'll do it in beginner mode so that you can see, uh, actually hear everything that's coming across. But that's all configurable as well within the app. So with that, we'll actually do a little bit of a demo. Okay. So I'm going to close the door. Now what I'm going to do over here on this phone is just send a test message. Um, uh, and so. And we're already connected up here in the middle. Yeah, you're already connected. Because the Bluetooth sign is that's lit. right. Yep. And for the audience, we're sitting in a 2006 Ford Explorer. That's correct. All right. So I'm just going to send this test message that says you're running late. Where are you? So this would be coming from anyone that's texting you while in the car. You can see this phone is completely not tethered to anything. It could be in the console. It could be in the back seat. Right. New text message from 517-304-6520. You're running late. Where are you? To reply, say one of the following. Defined custom. Call back or repeat. To end this call, say quit. Custom. You selected to reply with a custom message. You may speak your message now. I'm on my way home. I'll be there in 20 minutes. I heard. I'm on my way home. I'll be there in 20 minutes. Say send to send a message now. Say retry to record a new message. To end this call, say quit. Send. Sending message. <clears throat> so now what you'll see is a completely send transcribed reply. message that's going to come back. And it's going to be exactly what I said. I'm on my way home. I'll be there in 20 minutes. So it got 100% accuracy on that transcription. Um, and we did that completely hands-free, hands on the wheel, didn't have to do anything, and answered that text. The person on the other end had no clue that I completely did all that via my voice. So there's no... Them, the caller ID. It still kept it within the thread of the message, right. so the phone still thinks there's a lot of services out there that send it from a back end, right? So that when the person gets it, it's going to open up a new thread on the phone. Mm -hmm. It's not going to come from that number, <clears throat> right? And so it was really important for us to make it so that that transcription happens, and then it's sent from this device, right? So the person on the other end is getting a text that looks just like it was typed in. You would know no different, right? And and there's no <clears throat> there's no subscription or uh, excuse me, there's no signature that says this was sent from the OnStar. No. Okay. <clears throat> now, you you could do that. That's uh, something Is it that's setting? configurable. Okay. Yep. But um, currently, we have it so that it looks like it was just typed in. Okay. So let me do, the, let me do uh, uh, one more if you have time. Sure. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate the 
callback feature, which <clears throat> is something that the folks in the Transportation Safety Board are really interested in. Right. Um, because it's a way to do a, a hands-free communication without, uh, you know, doing anything on the device. I just want to call the person right back that's just texted me. This might be the way we thought it would be. text message from 517-304-6520. You're running late. Where are you? To reply, say one of the following. Define custom. Call back or repeat. To end this call, say quit. Call back. About to call. 517-304-6520. Whatever say contact name. To confirm, say yes or no. Yes. Pardon? Yes. So the phone lights up. Yep. So <clears throat> now again, notice hands free. Yeah, I didn't touch the unit at all. Completely hands free. <clears throat> and here's the other person's phone ringing, right? Yep. So if we answer this, we'll get some probably nasty feedback, but you can hear it now coming across <laughs> through the screen. <laughs> so. Um, Ended. Again, that's one that the National Tr Transportation Safety Board is really interested in because, um, you know, they're even concerned a little bit about having even a voice-based texting interaction, you know, people doing a lot of cognitive thinking in the vehicle. And, you know, that's a situation where someone texts you. Instead of you having to pick up that phone and read it, it's read to you so you know, hey, Joe texted me. This is what he said. But you know what? I don't want to get into a text battle with Joe while I'm driving. I'm just going to call him back real quick and end the conversation. So it's a really quick and easy way to initiate that hands-free call, talk to Joe on the phone, and be, and be done.